Observing the sky. Stars appear to move across the sky, east to west, but it's just the Earth spinning on its axis. Sidereal day. Time taken for a star to return to the same position, 23 hours and 56 minutes. A solar day is the time taken for the sun to appear at the same position, which is 24 hours. They are different. Earth orbits the sun as well as spinning on its axis, so Earth needs to spin more than 360 degrees before the sun appears at the same position. The moon takes 25 hours as it orbits the Earth in the same direction as Earth's rotation. The stars we see change during the year as Earth orbits the sun, as the direction we face changes each day. Eclipses in the moon. The moon reflects sunlight, only half of it facing the sun is lit. As it orbits, we see different amounts of moon's dark and lit surfaces. Lunar eclipse. When the moon passes into Earth's shadow as it orbits, so little to no light is reflected, it seems to disappear. A solar eclipse is when the moon aligns with the sun and Earth at the right distance and blocks out the sun. Exact alignment of the sun, Earth and moon is rare, so eclipses are rare. Coordinates in astronomy. Positions of stars are measured by angles seen from Earth. They are measured from two fixed positions, the pole star and the celestial equator. The pole star doesn't appear to move as it's directly above the North Pole, and the celestial equator is an imaginary extension of Earth's equator. The two angles we measure is the angle of declination, the celestial latitude, and the angle of right ascension, celestial longitude. Retrograde motion, where a planet seems to change direction in complex patterns relative to distant stars before carrying on as normal. It only happens with the outer planets, Mars to Neptune. This is because both Mars and Earth orbit the Sun, so we see motion relative to Earth. Refraction, speed of a wave is affected by the density of the medium it's travelling through. Wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. But frequency is fixed for each type of wave, so the wavelength must change. When a wave changes speed and wavelength, it causes the wave to change direction. Converging and convex lenses use refraction to focus light waves to form an image. Converging lenses and triangular prism. Curvature of the lens means all the parallel rays hitting different parts of the lens are refracted towards the same focal point. Triangular prisms can refract light to form a spectrum as different wavelengths of light refract by different amounts. White light is made up of many wavelengths of light that separate into a spectrum of colours. The more powerful the lens, the more strongly it converges, so the shorter the focal length. Power equals 1 over focal length. Telescopes. A simple refracting telescope uses two converging lenses with different powers. The objective lens collects light and forms an image of it. The eyepiece magnifies the image so it can be seen. Magnification equals focal length of an objective lens over focal length of an eye lens. Most astronomical telescopes use a concave mirror instead as it's cheaper, easier and the colours aren't spread out. Diffraction is when waves spread out at the edges when they pass through a gap. It happens because the gap acts as a secondary wave source. The narrower the gap or the longer the wavelength, the more the wave diffracts. Diameter of objective lens equals the aperture. The bigger the aperture, the more radiation you can get into the telescope, and the better the image formed. Diffraction can cause the image to blur when entering a telescope as the waves spread out. A diffraction grating makes a spectrum as the narrow slits diffract light. These spectra are used to analyze light from stars. Astronomical distances. Distance to nearby stars can be measured by parallax. Parallax angle is half the angle moved against distant background stars over six months. The nearer the object, the greater the angle. Distance to stars are measured in parsecs. A parsec is the distance to star with a parallax angle of one arc second. Distance equals one over angle, arcsec. Brightness. Distance to the star. The further away it is, the dimmer it will look. Observed intensity. Observed intensity is affected by size and temperature. Bigger and hotter stars look brighter. The greater the luminosity of a star, the lower the frequency. The effort variable star's pulse depends on its luminosity. The greater the luminosity, the longer the time between pulses. So the star with the longest pulse period is the furthest away.